joining us in reading about the Bible story in 30 days, today's reading is Genesis 15, 1 through 21, and 17, 1 through 8. And the devotion is taken from 15, 6. And if you've not read this passage, please stop this video now and do so. Well, how is it that we become related to God? How is it that we can begin to change our lives that they reflect God's presence in them? How is it that we can commune so closely with God that we have the ability to participate even in His divine nature? We have become related to God through faith. Now, there are some who will stop there and never frankly go any further. It's true that we become related to God by faith. Today's scripture tells us that Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him as righteousness. But that's not where faith starts and stops. Faith is always accompanied by action. You will notice that right after this passage, Isaac is born. Now that required something. That required that a very old man and woman have a sexual relationship to produce a child. Paul writes this in Romans 4, 19 through 21. He says, without becoming weak in the faith, he contemplated his own body, now as good as dead, since he was about 100 years old, and the deadness of Sarah's womb, yet, with respect to the promise of God, he did not waver in unbelief, but grew strong in the faith, giving glory to God, and being fully assured that what God had promised, he was able also to perform. I don't mean to be crude or insensitive, but through faith in God's promises, Abraham and Sarah were able to, to have a sexual relationship that resulted in Isaac's birth. Paul writes that Abraham was fully assured of what God had promised. Abraham could not have done it under his own power. Abraham had to rely on something else, and that something else was his participation in God's divine nature that gave him the strength and Sarah's fertility to produce a son. Now, if God can do that to, you, to two human beings who are simply following his will and his promise, what do you think he can do in your life if you just submit to him? We as a people go hard, we are be incredibly powerful, not in the sense of a military or political power, but in the sense of power of change in our world. Will you let him do that today?